The University of Tennessee Medical Center is our region's only academic medical center. Our mission is to serve through healing, education, and discovery. Our goal is to share the knowledge of our physicians and staff in these health education videos as you make healthcare decisions for yourself and your family. HPV stands for human papillomavirus. It is found throughout the uh, world. It's usually spread by sexual contact, almost exclusively. It is the uh, uh, largest cause of uh, cervical cancer. The vast majority of cervical cancers are caused by HPV. Uh, the vast majority of patients and people in the U.S. Uh, have had the virus enter their body. Many uh, have received no cancers from it, but some do. The majority uh, of uh, HPV um, causes no problems. In most cases, the virus enters the body and is eradicated by the body in a matter of months. In a few cases, they develop certain lesions such as warts uh, and other skin lesions. And at the ultimate, they develop different types of cancers the patients do from the virus. HPV is noted for many cancers, the most prominent being cervical cancer in females, also causes uterine cancers, causes uh, anal cancers, penile cancers, and oral cancers. The vast majority of oral cancers have been uh, linked to uh, substances such as smoking, smokeless tobacco, and alcohol. Uh, the patients with the newly recognized HPV-induced oral cancers are usually 10 or 15 years younger when the cancer starts, and they also are, have a better survival and better uh, able to be treated with uh, radiation. The virus itself cannot be treated, thus we try to, to uh, decrease the effects of the virus. Once you have the tumor, it's treated like a classic oral cancer with surgical intervention, radiation, and chemotherapy. What we'd like to do is keep our patients from ever uh, ever uh, receiving the virus, and thus we like to have the patients inoculated with a vaccine prior to, the, to their uh, getting older. The vaccine right now is approved for people from 9 to 27 years old, both females and males. You cannot protect yourself from the virus in any, any manner except that complete sexual abstinence uh, would almost eradicate it from, our, from humans. Uh, the lesser number of sexual partners you have is a great benefit. Uh, the older that you start sexual activity is also a benefit in these patients. Uh, right now, there's of course an antiviral vaccine on the market that has been a great help if given early enough in both males and females. We hope you'll join us soon for another medical moment. Visit utmedicalcenter.org or call the Healthcare Coordination Office at 865-305-6970 to learn about services available at the University of Tennessee Medical Center.